Hey guys, it's Brianna. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my job hunt, which actually isn't even a job hunt anymore. So the last video I uploaded was about me talking about my struggle for getting a job. And then after I uploaded that video, I got a phone call the very next morning saying that they needed someone to work at this apartment complex as a receptionist. Of course, I accepted the job offer because I desperately need a job. There are like companies that help people get jobs and they're called temp agencies and this is how I got my job. They told me that they were going to be paying me like $7 above minimum wage, which is way more than what I was expecting. Like, because they called me and they were like, we need you to work the next day, I had to go shopping. I had to buy slacks and I was shopping for like two hours for slacks and I couldn't find anything that fit me. Um, so I was actually lucky to find something because everything was closing in like an hour and I was freaking out because I couldn't find anything to wear. I take this transit system to my work and I wake up at like 6 in the morning. I've been sleeping until 10 a.m. I am not used to waking up early so that was definitely kind of hard to do but at the same time I was really nervous and I couldn't fall asleep so actually when I woke up at six in the morning I was like okay I'm kind of already awake I mean I didn't really sleep anyways and I take off two hours early because when I first start a job or when I first do like a job interview I like to be there as early as possible. I take this transit system two hours early and I get to work like an entire hour early. And so I'm basically just sitting outside this like cafe that's in front of this like apartment complex type thing. It's like, okay, like it's like apartments, but it's also a hotel. It's both. So people can spend a few nights there or people can live there for a year. I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting. I've never seen something like this before. But I go into work and um, I get like a phone call from this temp agency place and they tell me that there's a code to get into the building. I'm like the first person in this building um, and that they're leaving a folder in there for instructions and that's it. So I'm not getting any training on the job. It's basically just me. So I get there. I punch in this PIN number and I arrive like 15 minutes early because, I mean, I was there an hour early, but I go into the building 15 minutes early. And I go there, I find my folder, I see the instructions, I go to my lockbox, I grab my keys, Oh, oh yeah, and there was actually another, like, receptionist guy when I got there, and technically he wasn't supposed to be working, it was only supposed to be me, but it's kind of a good thing that he was working, or else I probably would have been a little bit clueless on where everything was. I mean, I was able to find my keys and stuff, but there was a whole bunch of other instructions and I didn't really know what to do. It was my first time in this building and I start talking to him and I'm like, oh, like, what do I usually do? And he just tells me that I'm just going to be answering the phone, answering questions. I'll probably be going to different rooms and giving tours, um, delivering letters. So I'm, oh my god, I say really dumb things or I do really dumb things when I'm anxious. So it's like the first 15 minutes on the job, right? And he tells me, oh, I need you to go to these hotel rooms and I want you to check to see if there's like a welcome letter. And he gives me a list of all the hotel rooms. And I'm like, okay, sounds easy enough. And I have my keys and everything. So I click the button to go onto the elevator. I go in the elevator and the elevator closes. This is what, I'm just, I, I'm dumb when I'm so nervous. Like, I was so nervous starting this. And I go to click on the button, and the button wouldn't click. I'm literally, like, clicking on it. I'm like, 
why is this button not working? So then I think, okay, maybe I need to put my keys in the elevator so that it will go up. Um, some hotels do that. Some hotels you have to have a card or something to get the elevator to go up. So I thought it was that. So I was like looking for like a keyhole to put my key so that I could like press the button and I could not figure it out. And I'm like stuck in this elevator for a solid two minutes. Like just in this elevator, it's not moving, it's not doing anything. I'm just standing in there trying to figure out how to click this button to go up. And the same thing goes for clicking the button to get out of the elevator. I was going to get out and then ask the other receptionist guy, like, how this elevator works. And I click the button to try to get out, and that button doesn't work either. So I'm, like, knocking on the elevator, and I'm like, Hello? Is there anyone there? Because I'm stuck. <sighs> This was so embarrassing. This I think this is like probably the dumbest thing I've ever done on, done on a job. Um, I'm like knocking on the elevator door, and then I'm, I'm calling his name, and I'm like, "Hey, um, how do you go up?" Um, and I'm still knocking, and I think he hears me, but he doesn't respond. And he's like, "What?" Like I hear him on the other side, and I'm like, "How do you push the button to go up?" Um, and then I'm just standing there for another 30 seconds before he comes back in, and then I see the elevator door open, he walks into the elevator, and he clicks the button. I was clicking, like, the side of the button. There was, like, a black number, and then next to that black number was, like, the actual button. So I was, like, clicking the number, I wasn't clicking the actual button, I'm like... Okay, that's that's nice. Like it, it's like that like dumb blonde moment when you uh that was and I was like mortified. I'm like, okay, this guy probably thinks I'm so dumb for not knowing how to go up an elevator. Okay. And this isn't even the worst part. So I end up going up and he clicks on the second floor. I originally was gonna click on the fifth floor. Because on my sheet of paper, the first hotel room that I was supposed to check was on the fifth floor. But there wasn't really an order, so he was just doing it by, like, height, um, by the levels of the building. Um, so I'm, like, reading the first floor, right? I'm reading the first thing that's on my, ch my checklist, and it's room 507. Well, I didn't really notice that he clicked the second floor, so instead of going to room 507, I go to room 207, which isn't on my list. And of course, I like do like a little quick knock, even though there's no one who's supposed to be in this room. But I knock on it anyways. And I open the door, and of course, there is someone in that hotel room. Another blonde moment, because I didn't... I'm not even blonde, but... I'm just, I don't know why I'm not, but yeah, I walk into the room and there's someone in there. That all happened within five minutes. Like, all of this happened within five minutes. And it hasn't even been the first hour of me on the job and already all of this has happened. And I'm like, okay, that's definitely not the room. And I like apologize. I'm like, oh my god, I'm sorry. And I close the door and I walk out and... Yeah, I definitely like triple checked each of the rooms before I knocked on them and went in because I walked into the wrong room the first time checking these hotel rooms. Like this is my job is to go in and verify that things are going well, um, that letters are delivered. Um, and within the first room, I already go into the wrong one. The rest of the day was very simple. I think that's all I did that day, was just um, check to see if all the let letters were delivered. Um, and then if the letters weren't there, I went back downstairs. And then the other receptionist, he came and got me copies of the letter so that I could go back to those hotel rooms and then just put the letters in a binder or something. Um, but yeah, and then for the rest of the day, I just sat at my desk and was on the computer. 
I don't think I checked anyone in. I would get phone calls here and there. Um, but most of the time, those phone calls were to the managers. I was pretty much just doing homework all day Friday. So the next day, I come in, and I asked um, one of the parking managers. He's not, like, the actual manager for the building, but he, like, helps out and stuff. He gave me a parking space. I get there. I park. Um, I might insert a video of this parking lot. It's actually really cool, um, but I'll probably explain it in a different video. Um, and then I come back into work, and I pretty much just do the same thing. I go on my computer, and I just do homework. I mean, there's really nothing for me to do. But for the first hour that I was at work, there was no one there um, because it's Saturday. And... I see this fire truck pull up right in front of the apartment complex. Usually you have to have like a key or like a code to punch in to get into the door. So if you see someone coming in and they haven't scheduled a tour and you see there's like fire trucks outside, like you know that's like a bad emergency. So I open the door and like, Five to ten firemen come into this building. They don't tell me anything. At first, I thought that they were, like, working on a project and my manager forgot to let me know that these firemen were coming in. I literally had no idea what I was doing. This is my second day on the job. And they're just like, oh, we need to know where room 207 is. And this is the same room that I walked into the day before. They're like, we need to know where room 207 is. And I'm like, oh, it's just down that hallway, take the elevator up. Um, and then shortly afterwards, I see an ambul ambulance park right behind the fire truck. And they come out with a gurney, and you see all the medical team also come into the building, and I have to open the door for them, and it, they all come in. I'm like, Holy crap, I really hope someone did not just die. Like, I thought someone died. It looked serious. And this was all happening for, like, half an hour. And you could just see firemen and medical team crew people coming back and forth um, through the building and stuff. And then eventually, I see the same lady that I walked into her room, and she was on that gurney. And then they were taking her out to the ambulance. Apparently she um, broke her hip or something. I already felt bad for doing that the day before, like walking into a room. And then I felt even extra bad because she got hurt. And I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm like, I didn't get trained. I was just given a folder and instructions and that was it. That was like the eventful part of the day. That's all I had to do was just open the door. And then I remember someone walking in. It wasn't my manager. It was, like, one of the employees that work for the building. I think he does, like, maintenance or something. He walks in, and he's like, what's going on? Like, he asks me as if I know what's happening. I'm like, I don't know. I just saw this fire truck and ambulance come out. And now there's someone on a gurney and she broke her hip or something. I'm just explaining what I know. And then the firemen come up to this employee who works for the building and he's like, um, you know, this is a serious issue because we see that your office hours are between 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. But you don't have anyone like at night. So if there was an emergency at 3 a.m., who would have been here to open up the building door? Because there's no way for anyone to enter the building unless you have a key or you have a code. But yeah, that was my first two days working as a receptionist. And I honestly didn't even really do that much. I was just literally doing homework the entire time or just on my phone um, because... There's nothing for me to do. They just wanted someone to sit in front of a computer and just greet people or answer the phone. I didn't really get that many phone calls either. So, um, and then a few days later, they called me back and they're like, Hey, hey, we like you. Do you want to work full time for us? And I'm like, 
yeah, sure. And by the way, this is only a four-week job. Actually, technically it's five weeks, but I'm working four weeks full-time. And they're like, hey, you want to work full-time for four weeks? They like you. And I'm like, but, like, my manager wasn't even there. All she heard was from people who work in the building, and they said that they liked me, so my manager was like, okay, let's have her work full-time. And I'm like, sure, why not? I'll work full-time. I'm getting pretty good pay. Um, it doesn't seem like that hard of a job, so... Um, but, yeah, that's that's my first day as a receptionist story. And I'm terribly sorry for how long this video is. If you're still watching this, please leave a like or a comment or or you don't have to. Either way is fine. I just I just like knowing if people are watching my videos. Like if you're still watching this, like tell me, please. Like I want to know. Like that's amazing if you are. Um but anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.